हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर जे बी कंबे अस्टम प्रोफेसर ऑफ सॉइल एंड वाटर इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर भीमरायनगुड़ी प्रेजेंटिंग लेक्चर नंबर इलेवन ऑन टॉपिक्स रेन वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग सो हियर वील गोइंग टू डिस्कस इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ रेन वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग डेफिनेशन ऑफ रेन वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग डिफरेंट कॉम्पोनेंट्स इन्वॉल्व इन रेन वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग एंड डिफरेंट टेक्निक्स विच वी आर यूजिंग फॉर द रेन वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग हियर वील सी फर्स्ट what is the condition of water or what is the situation of water we are having around 71% of our surface uh, which is covered by the water and out of which 97% of water which is a salty water and only we are having 3% fresh water out of which 3/4% of fresh water is captured in glaciers and ice caps around 0.6% it is present in ground water 0.1% in the lakes are available in the streams and 0.001% is available in the atmosphere here we can see that total availability of water based on the the world's area and the country's area how much water is available for us we know that india is having 2.4% of world's area population if we consider as a world's population we are having around 17.1% population and water in percentage of world water only we are having a 4% also if you see the rank in per capita water availability it is 132 and rank of water quality which we are receiving or which we are having for our consumption it is 122 if you see the average annual rainfall of india it is around 117 cm or 1170 mm if you consider as a world's average it is more than the world's average world's average is 1110 mm if you see the rainfall distribution over the india from western part to eastern part of india it is 152 11690 mm western part that is a part of rajasthan it's a a very scanty or very rare rainfall or very few rainfall we are receiving uh, the quantity of rainfall which is received by the state like rajasthan is very less so from less rainfall to high rainfall places like arunachal pradesh in mosniram or cherapunji places and if you see the range of rainy days which are there 5 to 150 days it is also having a similar distribution which was there for the range of distribution for the rainfall from western india to the eastern india uh, number of rainfall which will be very less in the part of rajasthan as well as part of gujarat in kutch as well as the, will be having a more rainy days in north northeastern part of the india here mostly rain which we are receiving so it will be received in 15 days or it is in 100 hours only the potential yield of transmission which is occur in india around 1500 to 3500 mm and per capita water availability uh, it is shows that so it is available for individual indian that is 1588 meter cube so how that india's water resources are spread or how they are distributed so here we'll see annual precipitation which we are receiving including snowfall that is 4000 km cube and we are considering that is 100% of water which we are receiving and precipitation during monsoon which we are receiving here that is a 75% of annual rainfall that is 75% of annual rainfall and evaporation plus soil water which is there in quantity that is a 2131 and in percentage you see 53.3 and average annual potential flow in rivers it is there 1869 km cube and in percentage 46.7% and estimated utilizable water resources it is there 1123 and percentage 28.1 similarly for surface water replenishable ground water storage created of utilizable water storage of utilizable water so here all together if you see this water is there it is 1123 km cube in percentage only 28.1% and we know that this water which is there or which is there utilizable sources are there 
so it will be not going to sufficient in future future means if you see the estimated water need of india in 2050 so we need around 1450 kilometer cube water so which is there 129 percent of today's water means if we are having 100 percent water today so we need 129 percent water in 2050 if you see the estimated deficit of that water it is around 29 percent and in quantity if you see it is 327 cubic kilometer or kilometer cube so here how we will going to fill the gap or deficit of water which will going to arrive in 2050 so some of it we can fulfill the gap or deficit by the interlinking of rivers so here we can add after doing the interlinking of rivers and we can fill some deficit of water so it is around 200 cubic kilometer and that is a 17.8 percent the remaining water deficit which is there that can be fulfilled by only option that is rainwater harvesting so rainwater harvesting is playing a very important role in future to fulfill the demand of water need of water which will be going to arrive in 2050 for our country's population so here we'll see the definition of rainwater harvesting what is mean by rainwater harvesting Rainwater harvesting means so capturing the rain where it falls, capturing the runoff and taking measures to store that water and keep it clean. Also, the rainwater harvesting can be defined as a method for inducing, collecting, storing and conserving local surface runoff for agriculture in arid and semi-arid region. So we will see what are the benefits of rainwater harvesting, how this rainwater harvesting will going to benefit us. So here we will see one by one. So definitely the rainwater harvesting will going to improve the quality of groundwater. Then so it will going to help us rise in water levels of bore wells as well as open wells. It will help us to solve the problem of inadequacy in rural areas it will also reduce the soil erosion as a result of reduction in surface runoff it will also decrease the chucking of storm water drains and flooding of roads and it also helps for the mitigation of the effect of drought and the last one that is a very important it will save huge energy which we are using for the lifting of groundwater. So here we will see the types of rainwater harvesting or method of rainwater harvesting, how we can harvest the rainwater. So here we will see one by one. First one, water collected from rooftops or courtyards and similar compacted or treated surface is used for domestic purpose or garden crops then second one the water which we are collecting from micro catchment water harvesting and this method of collecting surface runoff from small catchment area and storing it in the root zone of an adjacent infiltration basin the basin is a planted with a tree a bush or with annual crops and third one micro catchment water harvesting and also called harvesting from external catchments is the case where runoff from hill slope catchment is conveyed to cropping area located at foothill on flat terrain here we'll see the example of rain rooftop water harvesting so if we are using rain rooftop water harvesting structure so how much water we can conserve or how much water we can collect by using this rain rooftop water harvesting structure you know that as per recommendation of who so per person per day water requirement for is all activity is 137 liters and the family of force 
it is around 411 liters per day so how that water which we have stored or which we have collected from rooftop of our house we can use it here we'll see the example of rain rooftop water collection how we are going to collect the volume of water on rooftop here we'll see the example of it the area of building is having around 1200 square feet or 111.48 square meter so how much volume of water we can collect from it so here we'll see by considering the average annual rainfall of the particular place 717 millimeter and if we consider the runoff coefficient 0.8 so this runoff coefficient will be different for the different surfaces but for the the surface or the floor surface or concrete surface we are considering the runoff coefficient 0.8 and if we do the multiplications of all these value by using quantity of water to harvested per year from rooftop so here the formula which we are using for doing it so that is area of building multiplied by rainfall into runoff coefficient and by putting this value into this formula 111.48 into 0 0.717 into 0 0.8 so here you will get the volume of water which will going to collected from the rooftop of having a building of building having a size of 1200 square feet and that is 63,945 liters this quantity is sufficient to fulfill the demand of one person for the entire year approximately average consumption of water for per person in entire year which is recommended by or said by WHO that is only 50,000 liters water which is which we are collecting from the building having a size of 1200 square feet so this quantity is much higher than the quantity which is recommended by the WHO so this quantity of water which is collected so that we can use it in odd period particularly when summer season then we'll move towards next slide that is we're going to discuss now the techniques which we are using for the rainwater harvesting as i said the example of rooftop rainwater harvesting structure so this is one of the method which we are using for the rainwater harvesting and this can be practiced almost in all households in city as well as in village so how this rooftop rainwater harvesting system is divided with the different components here we'll see one by one first one first one that is a collection surface so here this is the collection surface and then second one gutters gutters or channel to transport the water from one place to another place then first plus system first plus system also will be provided with it then filtration equipment settling chambers and storage tank so these are the components which are involved in rooftop rainwater harvesting system here we'll see one by one here first we'll see the collection surfaces collection surface so here it is a collection surface the roof of the house is used as a catchment for collecting the rainwater and construction and material of the roof affects its suitability as a catchment particularly roof made of corrugated iron sheet asbestos sheet tiles or concrete can be utilized for harvesting the rainwater then next that is a gutter so these gutters means where we are collecting water from the rooftop or from the collection surface so here this is a gutter it is a fixed to edge of roof all around to collect the transport the rainwater from the roof then material which we are using for collection of the water from the roof that is a semicircular or rectangular shape with a cement pipe plain galvanized iron sheets pvc pipes bamboos etc also we can use locally available material to reduce the overall cost of the system the next one the channels to transport water from one place to another place so here from gutter 
to the tank how we are going to transport the water from gutter to tank so here it is the pipe which carries the rainwater from the gutters to the filter and storage tank is joined with the gutters at one end in, and other end is connected to the filter unit of the storage tank here for preparation or making of the transport system of water or water transport we are using some pvc or gi pipe of having 50 mm to 75 mm also this can be replaced by bamboo wherever the bamboos are available then first plus system so in this system so before going to reach water or before going to reach first rainfall water to tank so that water which will be having a debris dust and dirt so has to be clean has to be removed for that purpose the first plus system will be provided so this first plus system is the arrangement which is made to avoid the entering unwanted material into filter media and storage tank this is a simple manually operated arrangement or t semi automatic system with the wall below the t junction so below this t junction this first plus system will be arranged or it will be fixed then filtration unit so filtration unit it is very important part of rain rooftop water harvesting system it is a container or chamber filled with the filter media such as coarse sand charcoal coconut fiber pebbles and gravels to remove the debris and dirt from water that enters the tank the filter unit usually place over the storage tank or it is placed separately to avoid entry of any foreign matter or debris or dirt into the tank it is made from ferro cement aluminum cement ring or maybe it is a plastic next one that is a storage tank it is used to store the water that is collected from the roof through filter this storage tank the storage tank is provided with a cover on the top to avoid contamination of water from external sources the storage tank is provided with a pipe fixtures at appropriate places to draw water and to dispose extra water the storage tanks particularly made by using material that is a plastic cement concrete or bricks and masonry material and also it will be made some other material <clears throat> here we will see other water harvesting techniques first one that is a runoff harvesting under runoff water harvesting so there are some short term runoff water harvesting techniques and that is like contour burns semi circular hoop trapezoidal burns graded burns rock catchments ground catchments contour trenches and some other runoff water harvesting structures which we are using for the short term runoff harvesting then in long term runoff harvesting techniques we will be having a dugout ponds or different types of ponds embankment structures or embankment type reservoirs like irrigation dam sill detention dam high level pond farm pond water harvesting pond percolation pond etc then we will be having some flood water harvesting structures so here under flood water harvesting permeable rock dams the water which will be taken from it will be used for the crops water spreading burns for crops and range lands and flood control reservoir then we are having another techniques which we are using for harvesting water that is the ground water harvesting here particular this type of technique uh, we are calling it a kanath system is a, consist of long tunnel or conduit leading from well dug at reliable source of ground water or we are seeing in other words that is a mother well so this system particularly used across persia and middle east for 
many reasons so this system is usually used in persia and middle east here we will see some short term runoff water harvesting techniques so you can see here so this is a tank and this is a catchment area or here the water will be supplied and here also you can see this is the tanks for storing drinking water used in barmer bikaner and palodi in rajasthan then these are the some short term rain water harvesting techniques here the contour trenches has been made to trap the water so you can see in these photographs the water has been trapped in the trenches so here also you can see the trenches has been made to trap the water so here the bund has been fixed to trap the water or bund has been made to trap the water the area uh, here bund has been made and over it the plants has been planted gully plugs and nala bund to store the water for the short durations then tanks or percolation dam to store the water so here that photograph it shows that some water has been stored for the short duration so what are the uses of collected water water which we have collected through these different techniques this water can be used for domestic as well as agricultural uses so we can use for drinking irrigation flushing toilets and some other purpose also we can use it so here we have discussed in today's class different water harvesting techniques so particularly rooftop water harvesting techniques and some other techniques which we are using to harvest the water this is all from today's class thank you friends